All right so now we will see how these polymers are forming right we have seen what is a polymer and what is a formula but we didn't see how is it forming the mechanism all right we we'll see now how the formation of the polymer is happening first one free radical polymerization right so this is called as free radical polymerization i told you most of the time the polymers i mean this uh, yeah hydrocarbons are polymers are hydrocarbons c and h would be there most of the time right and here you see this is monomer so by the name monomer you understand that this unit is going to repeat again and again right this unit is going to repeat again and again and the name is ethylene right i told you see, if it is double bond then it is ene if it is triple bond then ine if it is single bond then ane right so now there's a double bond then that is ethylene okay ene this is a monomer and here i have a call, something called free radical right this r so usually this free radical is noted by r this r can be of any atom which is going to join with it can be cl minus it can be f minus right or it can even be bromine br minus so whatever the part which is going to join actually with this monomer is what called as a radical so as a common right we denote this as r right so based on the need you can put it as fluorine or bromine or adenine or fluorine or whatever it is right commonly which is known as r right? that is free radical that is r so this r combined with this monomer will give you c2h4 into r right so now we have 2c here also 2c that's fine here 4h 4h that's also fine here i have double bond but here i have single bond and the other double bond which is being broken by this r to join with it so this double bond is broken and formed between this r and the c okay so this fissure is this fissure c2 h4 one bond is broken to join with r right and we will have a dot here right this dot here why because this carbon has 1 2 3 4 joints that's why four bonds but this carbon has 1 2 3 bonds only three bonds so there is a space for another molecule or atom to join with so to denote that we will put this dot right this is a dot so here also in r usually we put the dot right which mean it is ready to join right this is the initiation stage so what will happen there will be a monomer there will be a free radical it can be of any of the atom or ion that will go and break this monomer's one joint to form a bond with it all right this is the initiation stage that is first step then in the propagation this component right this so form component c2h4r c2h4r right this so form component plus this monomer right this monomer will form the uh, next lengthy chain right because monomer i told you this is the repetition unit all right this is a repetition unit so with this this is going to join so how will it join there is a dot there is a double bond right so this double bond will break to join with this dot so this will form a bond like this so which will be coming c4 right c4 h8 right h8 r and a dot right why there is a dot now that dot will now transfer here okay so if you see all these three that is four bonds are there but in the last one this carbon there is only one two three bonds 
right? And that's why I have a dot here. Right, I mean, I'll send you. Right, that's why I have a dot there. Right, this is propagation stage. Right, this is propagation stage. And this is another component, right? For simple example. Okay, so there will be an initiation stage where the radical uh, bombard with the monomer to form a joint, right? That's a bond. Then that uh, monomer, right, combined with radical, that particle will create bonds with the forecoming monomers, right? So there is a dot. So in the next stage, what will happen? another monomer of this one will join with this. So I will add plus 2C plus 4H. So two more carbon, four more H. So that will be like this. Two more carbons, four more hydrogen, and there will be a dot, right? For the next monomer to add, right? So this is how this reaction will propagate, all right? So the next one is also an example, benzyl peroxide, right? So the first diagram which we are seeing is the benzoyl peroxide. Okay. So here we have shown you how the radical go and make a bond with the monomer. Here we are showing how will it bond is broken. So you see here this one and this one is same. This CH2, this CH2 is there. O O S here. So we can say this is the repeating unit right c2 benzene o c sorry not c2 ch2 benzene o similarly here i have ch2 benzene o right so this is a repetition unit so here you see we have two of this one right this is one this is two two of benzene is there ch2 is there o is there right so what will happen if i break this bond is i will have a dot there right if I break the bond, that is not complete, no. Then I have to put a dot. If there is a dot, then I will be having what? Two radicals, right? So if it is a radical, that will be having a dot, right? Which means it is ready to go and make a bond, right? So this altogether can be considered as a radical, right? This is a radical. So I told you radical can be of anything a chlorine or chlorine or benzene right anything can be a radical so now two into r dot so this all is considered as r and there's a dot right two r dot all right right so this is a kind of illustration how is it looking like so this i already told you repetition unit right this is a repetition unit uh, in 3d it will look like this so this one, this uh, center one is carbon and this, these, these are hydrogen. So this particular molecule is being drawn here, right? So these are carbons, right? These, sorry, not these are carbon, these are hydrogen. These white things are hydrogen and these uh, ash color things are carbons, right? Uh, polyethylene is just a long HC, right? Polythene, polythene, you see, say this bag is there, no? Polythene bag. That is a, just a long HC, a long hydrocarbon, right? So, I don't know how many hydrocarbons are there, but if you put like number of hydrocarbons, that will give you polythene. Again, paraffin is short polythene, right? You might have seen this uh, paraffin also. That paraffin is a short polythene, all right?